Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Curb Appeal, the series on my channel where I attempt to recreate photographs in The Sims 4. So today's episode is very special, but as you can tell, it is also very long. So you guys need to stop and pause the video and go grab a coffee or a drink or a hot chocolate, a blanket, your dinner, your breakfast, anything, because you might, you know, get a little bit hungry. But once you're ready, let's sit down and let's talk and let's hang out for 40 minutes while we build this home. So you guys might have recognized the thumbnail of today's video because if you are in quarantine and in lockdown like I am and you have nothing else to do and you're getting a little bored, you've probably watched like every netflix show available on netflix because today's recreation is actually a recreation of the mcgee family home from the netflix show dream home makeover so i don't know if it's available in like all countries i know it's probably available in netflix usa and obviously it's available in netflix canada that's where i'm watching it but it's a renovation show or like a design show kind of like the typical show you would see on hgtv where a couple um they like renovate people's homes and they do like home interior and exterior renovations and stuff like that and throughout the show on the first season in addition to renovating their clients homes they also ended up building their dream home from scratch so that's why the home looks so beautiful and brand new and perfect is because it's a brand new build and it's literally their dream home which took them like five years to build from scratch so it is such a beautiful nice home and it really has that obviously i have it hopefully popped up on the screen right now for you guys hopefully by now <laughs> but it has the kind of like modern farmhouse facade that i'm drawn to but when you take a closer look at the different textures and materials that they use to build this home it really is more of a classic style so usually with a modern farmhouse you would see a lot of like woods or even like metals um, to build the exterior but the main kind of two not pillars gables of this home are made of brick so they actually in the original home they have the two main areas um, made of brick and then they painted it white so it's not actually wood or metal it's it's brick which is kind of cool i don't usually use the white brick like that on the exterior but um they also ended up using a kind of stone on the left side as you can see i use the base game stone and then on the right hand side on the right structure it is a horizontal white wood so they have a beautiful combination of three different textures all very neutral all very light and bright feeling to give um, a lot of dimension to this home while also keeping it extremely modern looking and extremely clean so one thing i did notice is the roof trim usually when we do roof trim in the sims and you know in craftsman style homes or these modern farmhouse homes the roof trim will like overhang a little bit so it will stick out a little bit um frontwards and off the side but with this home i specifically had to pull in like the eaves so that they're flat up against the facade of the home so it is a very flat clean lines structure which is very interesting it's not something that i would think to do myself and in most of the homes that i've made i don't really do that but it really really works with this exact shape and it gives the home definitely a more classic looking style which is super super fun and just different and it works i haven't really seen many homes that look like this exactly it's very unique looking it's obviously a custom build done by a professional designer of course um, but yeah totally caught my eye and totally a home that i would live in in real life too so i i love it absolutely love it so you might notice that the two kind of gabled pieces 
are of a different texture right now. One of them is the white base game brick and the other side is I think like the spa day brick. So the reason I have it mismatched is because during the stream where I built this, I couldn't decide which one I wanted, I liked better. So I just kept them different at the time to see like, to like let it marinate, you know, and then see which one I ended up liking better. So I do actually end up going for the spa day one, which is the left hand one. It actually isn't as accurate, like the base game white brick would be a little bit more accurate to the real home, but I think in the moment it just felt like the other one looked a little bit better, added a little bit more texture, but honestly you can't go wrong either way with either of them. If you wanted to give this exterior more of like a base game feel if you don't have spa day you or no it's not spa day it's fitness stuff pack sorry um you can feel free to change it to the base game uh swatch if you want to but another really really lovely element of this home are the copper piping like the exposed gutter piping i guess it's more like a gutter right um they they have it contrasting really nicely on all sides of the home and they went with a copper look and it actually makes it stand out a lot more usually i would say you don't want your gutters to stand out on the home but making them like copper and a nice kind of metal actually adds like a little bit it's kind of like jewelry almost it's like you're spicing it up a little bit and giving it some nice accents here and there and it's really cool because those like piping uh, object that we got from get together usually I only use it in like a black or white swatch and usually I use it more to make a build look more functional but I've actually never used those gutter objects as like an intentional decoration but in this case I honestly think that it looks so nice contrasting against the white um, coloring of the home and I can see myself using that coppery bronze color in the future a lot more and actually intentionally using it to add accent so that was also something that was very nice um you will see also on the front of the home that we use this little seasons like um awning thing so that seasons awning actually fit perfectly it was kind of like a matching coppery bronze color as well so it matched the photo really well and it fits so perfectly in to that little spot so overall such a beautiful beautiful home and really kind of simple to recreate if you really think about it and you really look at the lines of the home it's very simple but very beautiful and totally doable in the sims so i think i definitely pulled this one off but you guys need to let me know down below in the comment section and rate my recreation out of 10 scale of 1 to 10 how close did i get it to the actual home so here you can see we are doing the back so you guys know when we get to the back of the home oftentimes i will just kind of you know just mirror the front and back a little bit maybe make it look a little bit different but not too different but in this case i actually had a photo of the back and we thought we would challenge ourselves on stream and try and replicate the back a little bit or at least take a little bit more inspiration from the back so the back of the home honestly is one of my favorite backs of the home that I've ever done which is really weird to say because who really cares about the back I I care about the back now so I'm really happy with how this back turned out I think that it looks totally different from the front which is good because I need to work on that and also it just has so much dimension it looks so realistic and it just looks you know, really, really interesting. It, it's a really nice looking back. <laughs> and I feel like even houses in real life, oftentimes the back gets neglected a lot, but you can really tell, you know, that this was a designer home because all sides of the home look beautiful. And yeah, I'm really proud of myself and the roofing job that I did on the back of the home here. It just looks very, like a lot of nice pieces makes sense, very realistic, and just lots of dimension. I also like the kind of pop of black we put on the left side. There's like a little piece that has a bit of a darker swatch. I think that that adds a really nice like modern twist to the build, and it it's good to add some black here and there, 
when you're doing any kind of neutral color scheme, especially working with light colors, because you don't want the build or the whole color palette to look too, you know, white washed and too, you know, bland. So adding some some areas of black here and there can definitely help. Um, something else that was interesting about this home versus the other kind of whitewashed modern farmhouses that I usually do is the windows actually if you look closely at the photo the windows actually have a white trim so usually with these modern homes we get a big white home or cream colored home but the windows have a uh, dramatic modern black trim to them these ones actually are completely white so it definitely makes it look cleaner which is what I'm guessing the designer was going for, but it doesn't add as much contrast that you usually get with a black trim. So personally, I would think to put a black trim, but in this case, the white trim actually works out really well, and I think it makes the home look a little bit more classic as opposed to um, a little bit more like dramatic and modern. So I definitely like what they were going for there, and it definitely works with like all the clean lines that they have. So overall just such a really beautiful home and i just love it i think that this might be my most favorite build that i've ever done um but yeah also oh yeah so in my last episode of curb appeal i think it was the one where i did a modern farmhouse lake home it was like that darker grayish blue black home um, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see more large family homes and a lot of you guys did say yes you guys wanted to see like bigger homes that could fit more sims because usually I make homes for like two to four sims maybe five sims maximum but honestly more like a family of three or four is all I really do so in this uh, build I definitely wanted to give you guys a larger home so if you guys play like legacy families and you have like tons and tons of kids, I wanted you guys to you be able to use this one and raise your family and all that good stuff. So this home can fit two parents, four kids, a cat, and also it has an in-law or butler suite. So the in-law suite can fit an extra two sims because there's a like queen size bed in there. So in total, I guess you can actually fit like eight sims. Um, if you want to have a cat, maybe only seven sims. But you will see what I'm talking about later. I actually have a separate section of the home that is only accessible from the outside. And you can like hire a roommate or like not hire. <laughs> you can like search for a roommate to come live in that suite. And they have like their own kitchen, their own bathroom, their own bedroom and living room all kind of separate and then you can like lock the doors so that they only stay in that area so you can get like rental income from your roommate without actually having them like hang out in your main home so it's kind of cool how i did that if you wanted to like open it up and like have it be together you can always add a door to connect it if you want to make it like for a grandma or a butler or something like that you can definitely connect the the doors so that you can access that place from the inside as well so you always have that option if you want but i can't wait for you guys to see that little guest suite that i've done on the right hand side um, i think it's really cool and a really kind of like unique way to like use this home so here you can see we are on to the interior and i actually cut out quite a bit of footage in this build you may notice it's going a little bit faster than usual so apologies if it's a little bit harder to keep up but i didn't want to make this home like an hour long video or anything like that and i already cut out all of the bathroom footage so you will not see me build any of the bathrooms because who cares about bathrooms you can see at the end i put screenshots you can watch that but I did cut out quite a bit of footage here, but here I'm doing the kitchen. So this is definitely one of my favorite kitchens ever. Uh, I just really, really love the color scheme. We went with the white, all white jungle adventure counters, which are beautiful. So clean, so sleek, and I love how white they are. They're not like that Sims blue, bluey white. It's like true white, which is really actually kind of difficult to find in the sims if i'm gonna be honest a lot of the times the white coloring in the sims looks blue which is super annoying but 
Anyways, these ones are actually white. And then I went with the green parenthood cabinets. So those parenthood cabinets come in such really beautiful muted um, colors. They also come in like a blue, kind of like a gray blue color, which is also super beautiful. And I love the parenthood cabinets and a good way to make them kind of a little bit more toned down. If you don't want to have like a green kitchen, a good way is to pair them with an all white or an all neutral um, countertop. So in this case, I paired Parenthood with Jungle Adventure and they work beautifully together. Just so awesome. You don't always have to match your cabinets, the top and bottom, like the counter and the cabinet don't always have to match from the same pack. You can definitely mix and match from other packs and that's a better way for you to incorporate color into your kitchen is to not have like a completely matchy-matchy kitchen. So I really love that. And then you saw instead of doing like a formal island, I put like that little cats and dogs like wooden skinny little table so it's kind of like a makeshift island um it's not like functional for cutting obviously but you can just have like some display things on there and i think it's super cute and it fits the space a lot better so we actually do have a lot of those like mini tables i think they're like buffet tables not really they're like accent tables um that would be really good for smaller kitchens if you still want to give that illusion of like an island but you can't actually fit like a huge island in that little space so those are always a very good um, item to use and often we forget about them so you can see that I've done the dining room I just went for like a wood table with some seasons looking chairs so again very neutral very fun um, if you want to pull off that like modern farmhouse classic rustic kind of look a good way to do that is to um you know, go in with like a modern mindset. So, so choose modern pieces. And by modern, we mean like clean lines, but also like newer looking furniture. So generally speaking, just like something that's new, not like something from like an old, older era or anything. So things like from City Living, Fitness Stuff Pack, Spa Day, that kind of thing. Those are, have a lot of like cool modern pieces. But then how you make it look a little bit more cozy and a little bit more for that modern farmhouse feel is to pair it with some more rustic looking items like a kind of more worn down um, wood table that maybe looks like it's made from like reclaimed wood or other items from like the seasons pack or cats and dogs or even um, what is it called get together a couple more like wood pieces so pairing those two styles together can make something really have that like modern farmhouse feel that like cozy modern rustic feel this the stuff that i always do like you know you guys know how it goes but if you ever are looking for some tips on how to how to like really master that style it's always about pairing some a little bit of old with a little bit of new so not like not nothing too matchy matchy necessarily just mixing mixing the styles to kind of blend them together so anyways here you can see i'm doing the office so because it was kind of like a small little floor plan over there we didn't want to like close it off completely with a door so we thought we would just put some glass and again this is an area where we wanted to make it look a little bit more modern so adding a little bit of a glass wall with an open archway instead of a formal door definitely gives it a little bit more of that modern feel, kind of like you have this high-tech modern looking office with the glass, but then inside we have a little bit more of like a woven rug and that season's desk just to make it look a little bit more cozy and rustic. So kind of contrasting the, the older and the newer um, like I was mentioning before. So that's a really nice little office area. Definitely keeps the place looking more open concept and doesn't make the office feel so squishy. It definitely feels like it's a family place. Like you, the mom could be like working in the office there while the kids are playing in that little living room area and maybe the dad is like cooking um, dinner in the kitchen and you're all kind of hanging out in that area and no one's like closed off necessarily. So really, really love that. Um, so here you can see we are working on the guest suite, um, whether you want it to be for a butler or your in-laws or grandparents, or if you want to rent it out to a roommate, 
Uh, this can be their own specific section. So I am fully equipping it with kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, all that good stuff. So it is a pretty decently sized area and it's I it works. I mean, I really like it. I think it could be cool too if you like have a teenager or something like that and you want them to like have some independence or something. So they need to go live here so they can live on their own but like not too far away like you don't want them to move out just yet but you want them to kind of have their own life and have some privacy if they're like a young adult or a teen or something i think that could be really cool as well but i really really love this area and i think that it's super pretty and i like i just like it i think that it's decorated so nicely and very simple but modern but cozy at the same time i used a little bit of that dine out brick which i love it's some of my favorite brick ever i can't stop using it i don't know why it just has that perfect look to it where it's like red brick but it's been like whitewashed with some a little bit of white paint so definitely some of my favorite items in the whole game were used in this little suite so definitely super super nice but it's about halfway through the video and i am already running out of breath are you guys still here I'm just checking in right here. If you're still here halfway through the video, comment down below and let me know if you've made it halfway. Um, but how are you guys been doing? I have been doing well. I have watched a lot of Netflix recently. I feel like... So I never really used to watch TV before um, the pandemic and, you know, lockdown and stuff like that. I always thought that TV was just a really big waste of time, to be honest. I don't know, like no no shade if you love watching TV. Like literally everyone I know loves watching TV. It's just me. I just always thought of it as like such a waste of time. And it's also because I am someone who, if I start liking a show, I will become like actually obsessed with it. And I will stay up like all night for like until 6 a.m. if I had to, to keep watching a TV show. So I'm just like addicted to it. I don't, I don't know how to like ration a TV show. So that's kind of why I stopped myself from watching TV because I know I can't control myself if I start to like a show. So for the longest time, I didn't really watch TV. I just cut it out of my life and I was really productive because of that. Um, but with, you know, COVID, I... I'm bored so I've been watching so much Netflix and I swear I've seen every single show in the world at this point. I'm currently watching Superstore which is like a comedy show about these like workers that work at like Walmart but it's called like Cloud Nine but it's pretty much they work at like Walmart and it's like I think it's the same writers as The Office and I love it. I think it's so funny. But I need more recommendations because I'm going to burn through that show so quickly. So if you guys have any recommendations on any Netflix shows or Disney Plus uh, or Amazon Prime shows, let me know. Um, I've already seen Emily in Paris. I've seen Queen's Gambit. I've seen The Wink Saga. I'm watching Riverdale. I saw Bling Empire, which was a new low for me <laughs> because it was like it's like reality TV. And I don't usually watch reality TV, but that was very interesting because it was like Crazy Rich Asians, but in real life. So if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know because I'm I'm bored. I'm, I'm very bored. And let me know if you guys are also burning through Netflix shows like crazy and make me feel less bad about myself for being unproductive. But there's really nothing else to do. So, I mean, I don't feel that bad. But anyways... Here we are doing the living room. So this is back in the main home for the family. And you guys saw, I don't know if you saw, but I did kind of a cool thing with the fireplace. So instead of just putting like a typical fireplace up against the wall, um, like I said, I wanted to add some modern elements into this home. So I actually just like made a little box, like a rectangular room box protruding from the wall. And I put the city living coffee table fireplace it's like a fireplace coffee table that comes to city living and I put it into the little wall and then I just put a little base game rectangular window over 
it so that you can see the fire coming through but it looks like one of those cool modern fireplaces where the fireplace is like in the wall so i don't know i don't know what like made me do that i was just bored and i did it on stream but i think it's super cool i think it definitely adds a little bit more depth to the room because otherwise if you think about it this room is like a big square and there's really not many like curves or you know parts that stick out it's it's a little bit square and boring so i wanted to add some dimension to this room and a great way to do that is to kind of make the fireplace protrude out a little bit. So I really like that. You can do it with only base game and city living. So if you have those two packs, you can definitely do it. I'm sure you could do it with, you know, some other packs too if you're a little bit more creative. But I did it with base game and city living. So feel free to try out that trick if you're looking for a fireplace that's a little bit more modern. So here you can see we are now on to the upstairs so like i said this home has two parents and four kids so there is one two three four five five bedrooms up here i think so yeah there's gonna be five bedrooms up here there's two kids bedrooms one toddler bedroom one teen girl bedroom and a master bedroom for the parents so i had a lot of fun doing these kids bedrooms i usually hate doing kids bedrooms you guys i just find them so obnoxious because i always feel so pressured to make them colorful and fun because it's for a kid and i mean obviously you want to make it colorful and fun because it's for a kid but i just don't really like doing it and i don't find the kids furniture that interesting like why do we have 7 million activity tables that all do the same thing? Why do we have 7 million giant stuffies that all do the same thing? <laughs> it just feels a little bit repetitive. I wish that we could have like a wider variety of kids furniture and activities to do in their room. Um, I personally can't think of that many off the top of my head so who am I to complain? But I just feel like a lot of the items are kind of repetitive and I would like just a, a little bit more interesting things. You know what I mean? Even more dressers. I feel like we need more kids dressers and yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about kids' bedrooms? Do you guys feel the same way about them? But this bedroom I actually, you know, segue, <laughs> this bedroom I actually really like. I went for a theme and I feel like that's a good way to like get on board with uh, a bedroom if you don't like it especially for a kid is to like go with a theme so I wanted to go for this kind of jungly animal lover green and na nature theme so I went for the kind of green leaf wallpaper on a couple of the walls just as an accent wall because I didn't want the whole thing to be all busy and green and patterned so just a little accent wall of that green and then I went for the parenthood kind of like light wood swatches with the bed and the bookshelf. And I actually like put the bookshelf up against the foot of the bed to make it look like it's kind of like a built in um, as if they were like connected in like custom pieces. And then I put the desk in between the bookshelves to kind of make it look like the desk was a built in into the bookshelves as if it's like a custom piece. Um, I used that parenthood light green. What is it? Dresser thing which is actually a really really beautiful piece of furniture i really love it it comes in a lot of really fun colors and i think that is like one of the most realistic looking dressers in the whole game let's be honest because a lot of them are like so wide they're just wide you know what i mean i feel like most people have dressers that are a little bit smaller than that because not everyone's bedroom is like huge enough to fit like a too wide dresser at least for me personally i've never had a room big enough that could fit one of those super long like dressers if you know what i mean let me know down below if you guys have like a really long dresser if you guys have one of those kind of skinnier but tall dressers but yeah that's what i went for in that bedroom and i honestly really like how it turns out it feels very like it feels like it has a theme which is good green nature colors i had a little yellow rug too and i put a lot of animals as if they're like an animal lover or they want to maybe be like a vet when they grow up or something like that so just really cute so for this bedroom um we had the idea so i'm saying we because i build on stream with my twitch 
um, community. So a lot of the ideas come from them and they always have really great ideas. So that's why I say we, by the way, because it's not just me, it's a group effort and I wouldn't be here without you know, everybody else. So everyone contributes. So this one, we had the idea to make it kind of like this person or this kid likes the sky. <laughs> I can't remember if that was the idea. Like they like, um, you know, like the sky, outer space, things up in the air. So we have some airplanes and some helicopter items and we also have some space items as well and we gave him the cloud bed and then something else that was kind of cool is we put the bed up on a platform so what that kind of does is i felt like it kind of made it look like he was like closer to the sky like he's up floating in the air so kind of just make it a little bit more fun for this kid um, again putting some wall decals on the um wall uh, with the cloud patterns and stuff like that just to make it feel like he's up in the clouds and also gave him the cloud overhead light as well so just really going all out with the kind of clouds up in the sky theme um, also giving him some like space space decorations and stuff like that so just going for a little bit more of like a white and blue airy theme so i don't know i think it's super fun i wanted to make him feel like he was up in the clouds when he was sleeping up there and then we also put these little um little fairy lights just to like make it look like stars or something like that so yeah i mean i had a lot of fun with this and i also really liked my use of platforms here just because we have platforms so why not use them it adds so much more dimension to a room and just makes it interesting so that room was definitely one of my favorites and i think it definitely helps when you hear about kind of the backstory and the theme of that room so the first room was like jungle nature pet themed and then this one was cloud sky themed and then this one so this one um was a little bit more interesting so <laughs> this is the toddler bedroom and Nobody really likes toddlers. <laughs> I mean, they're cute, but they're kind of just like annoying, let's be honest. So I didn't really know what theme to go for with this one because it, I don't know, it, it's a toddler room. It's just going to be like colorful and kind of tacky looking. So we put grass down on the lower section. So again, we like sectioned it off using platforms, but then on the bottom, we put grass and then um in the twitch chat everyone was like oh well it can be like a toddler farm <laughs> so i don't know if that's gonna like translate properly for you guys or like if if you guys aren't gonna really get the joke or understand where our brains are at maybe we were all just going crazy and you know we used up all our good ideas already but yeah this one was was toddler farm so yeah <laughs> we put a bunch of like animals on the ground there by the grass for the toddler to just like sit on the grass basically the idea is like the toddler just sits in this room all day plays with all their friends and their you know the naked gnome and the ladybug and the giraffe and then when you need to feed the toddler you can just bring the food up and like put it on the ground because let's be honest nobody feeds the toddlers in the high chair everyone just feeds the toddler on the ground you just put the the plate on the ground and the toddler will eat it right can we all agree that that's how we feed our toddlers in game so yeah i mean it's an interesting concept some might like it some might be a little bit against it i don't know toddler farm ladies and gentlemen good ideas in in 2021 here so yeah that was kind of that was that room <laughs> You can tell that we kind of used all of our fun creative ideas on the first two rooms that by the time we got to the toddler room, we were just like, yeah, toddler farm. Let's put some grass in the room. So here you can see we are now doing um, the teen girls room. So we actually had somebody, one of my community members make the family for this house in advance. So we have a teen girl in this room and like 
for the creative sim for this one this girl was like decked out in pink like she was kind of a little bit punk rock um I think she had like pink hair pink clothes everything so she was definitely very alternative and loved the color pink so we definitely wanted to reflect that in her room and just give her like I think the little pink amps from the Moschino pack were definitely very punk rock we wanted to give her uh the the electric guitar maybe she was into music maybe want to be a musician and just overall tried to give her a lot of pink themed things for her room another kind of cool trick that i did is i took the city living couches and i sized them down and then put them against the wall to make a headboard so and then i took the seasons bed and slotted it up against the couches so it looks like she has like a kind of tufted pink headboard when in reality it's actually just two couches up against the wall so i think that looks super super cute super super fun um and yeah so that was the teen girls room now we're working on the master bedroom um this master is just kind of brown neutral rustic very cozy um i didn't really there wasn't really a story to tell necessarily in this room it was just like nice a nice cozy luxurious room i did end up giving them kind of like a library area so maybe they really like to read and cozy up against their fireplace and stuff like that again here you can see i'm doing that trick again where you're mixing some more rustic elements like that chair or the bed frame from equal lifestyle and pairing it with something like a modern fireplace like that so it gives a little bit of the old and the new kind of mixing together to really give it that modern farmhouse vibe so that's what i'm doing there um but the video is nearly done uh, i can't believe i talked for this long i can't believe you guys stayed for this long if you stayed till all the way till now please let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think of this video i really appreciate it so i'd really like to see who stayed till the end and i would like to personally thank you um but i think yeah what have you guys been up to i hope you guys have been doing well i know that the past year like 2020 kind of sucked and honestly for 2021 i've really been like shifting my mindset a lot so with 2020 i feel like we were all just like waiting for something to happen you know like we'd always be like okay maybe next month it'll be better maybe by october we'll be able to you know see our friends again maybe thanksgiving we'll get to see everyone maybe christmas you know we'll be going on vacation you know we didn't really know so the whole time we just like had our life on pause as we were waiting for things to happen or waiting for good news or bad news or any news and then sure enough it's now almost been a year and for me personally i'm still working from home so like nothing has really changed i've been at home for nearly a year so instead of like just waiting for something to happen i'm now kind of shifting and trying to like embrace it and like make the most of it and just like you know nothing's really changing but i'm just trying to change my mindset to be like okay like this is the circumstance let's make the best of it um, you know, let's put out more videos, let's stream on Twitch, let's interact with people online since I can't see my friends in person and stuff like that. So hopefully um, you guys are doing well and hopefully, you know, things are going well in your city and in your country. But if you guys do want someone to hang out with and you guys want a community to talk to, I am streaming live on Twitch three times a week now. So I used to only stream once a week. Now I'm streaming three times a week and I'm really pushing to, you know, get to know you guys better and stay connected with you guys, especially during these times. So I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then I also stream on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I know that some of you guys who are in a later time zone, like Europe and so on, um, you guys, it's like, in the middle of the night for you guys when i stream on tuesdays and thursdays but hopefully you guys can make it to the saturday stream because i start at 11 a.m pacific time so hopefully you can make it out to one of those streams i also have a discord server 
linked down below where you guys can stay connected with each other and to me. I'm very active on there. We have different channels um, to talk about different things, our interests, TV shows, beauty, shopping, um, sim stuff, all of that. So if you guys want to chat some more with me or with anyone else in this community, feel free to join that down below. But besides that, the build is now done and the screenshots should be rolling. I do want to make a little announcement that I did release a Let's Play with the new Paranormal pack. So if you guys want to see me do a Let's Play, I know I'm usually a builder, but if you guys do want to see me do a Let's Play, I do have that uploaded on my channel, the first episode. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch me play in a haunted house. But if you guys stay to the very end, literally let me know. I'm so curious to see how many of you you guys actually did i'm so happy that we were able to spend the past 40 minutes together and i hope you enjoyed your time if you guys liked this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and rate my recreation skills out of 10 how close did i get this to the real photo and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye everybody